Hello guys, welcome here on my YouTube channel uh, with a brand new video. I will show you now all new changes, buffs and nerfs which coming 2023 with season 1. So make sure you press the like button, you subscribe to my channel if you like it, comment if you like it and press the bell so you will get notification when I am uploading new videos about Call of Duty or Call of Duty Conflicts. So we are now starting with the buffs and the nerfs. We are starting with the KN44, it increased just multiplayer. Then we have got the HVK, also got buffed. Then the M13 got a buff again, so it could be meta this time. The DRH also got buffed again. Then the ASM10 also got buffed. You see it increased the range. Then as next the AS wall got a buff. The Odin got buffed again. Maybe they will add the Mythic when they um, buff the Odin. So the only sniper here is the Arctic 15. Then the QQ9 got buffed. Uh, yeah, it's always good in Battle Royale and multiplayer, so the Ross also got buffed. Then as next gun we got the Chicom got buffed, and also the Corded got buffed, you can see here. And also another gun got buffed, the PPSH-41, so really powerful in, in Battle Royale maybe. Switchblade also got buffed, now it's meta again, and as next you we'll see the HS2126 shotgun, the only shotgun got buffed and now we are going to MGs with the PKM got buffed, uh, the Esprea Marksman is also buffed again, as next point we go to the pistols, to the revolver, to the J358 got buffed, the Renetti uh, pistol got buffed, and also good karma grinding when they buffed the shot, you can see here it increased the base damage, maybe good for karma grinding, the Elcher got buffed, and now we are going to the operator skills. So you see here we have the war machine, the war machine got buffed, also the death machine got buffed, you can see here. Uh, the first nerf here is the ballista, AM3 got nerfed, the they reduce the range, they take 5, reduce the health bonus, also nerf, and the reactor core, good for hard point when you can kill the enemies faster. Flag jacket got nerfed as perk, and another perk got buffed, the restock perk got buffed, you can see it improved the item charge time. Now we're going to launch a plus, also got buffed, you can see more ammunition, and the only score streak here got nerfed this season is the URV again. So we are now going to new items and new perks. You can see here we got two new guns. First it's the Dingo LMG from Black Ops 4 I thought. Very powerful and now we are going to Maddox. I think it's a Zorot rifle. I don't looked for it. And we got a new Scarstruck to reason with um, rockets. I don't know if we can, if we add uh, machine guns too. So we got Stimshot from Warzone. You can see you can sprint faster in multiplayer and we got also in battle royale a new glass you can see here thanks to car for youtube uh, we got automatic ground air gun it's a new battle royale class you can see here you can equip it how you can unlock i'm not sure and also we are getting a new eye uh, a new perk you can see unit support that mean you can you can earn more operator skills when uh, your teammates capturing a hard point for example now we are going to Lucky Dwarves and to not new Battle Pass. So you can see here they are the first leagues. That's the um, uh, of the yeah. You can see here we got many new items. Also a new trophy system. It's legendary. Yeah, it looks nice uh, if you really need it because when you are throwing it on or when you put it on the ground, it's easier for enemies that they can see the trophy system fast when it's so light. So colorful. Or oh, that's the new mythic deal coup. They the first um yeah the first sniper, the first mythic sn um, sniper this or for example the the first um the first uh let uh, the first mystic um camo they will release this year, so we already own um or we already have the mythic right tech AMR. So it's not the first um, mythic 
snipe but it's the second when I can remember but it's the first of the year so we are starting with S1 2023 yeah here you can see the scope the sniper um, upgrades if you really need all the upgrades I think it's very nice looking the skin and yeah it's your decision if you really need it here you can see what you can unlock when you upgrade it so now we are switching to the uh, not a lucky draw it's an m13 lucky draw uh, you can see here it's a greater skill then we are continuing with the emote you can see here i think nothing special now maybe they could add some some better emotes i think they in the last time the emotes are not very nah, not very uh, nice to look i think uh, yeah you can see the m30 that's a nice gun but it, it remembers me to the first uh, legendary m13 i think exactly the same scope if it really comes like with this scope because i think it's just the the first legendary M13 just with other colors so it's my opinion because it's, the scope is very similar now we are going here to the um, Mac 10 Lucky Draw you can see always or also here is the yeah, operator then you can see here the emote thanks to Zero the Mobile News that you can that you leaked this on YouTube so thanks for that and yeah, you can see a legendary car. I don't believe that they will add a legendary car when it looks like this. I think they will change it or they will make it a normal um, epic reward, not as legendary. And here, here you can see that's the Mac 10. Yeah. So we are going to continue with the next lucky draw. You can see here that's the operator skill. I think one of the best of the lucky dwarves it's always um, it's always just my opinion and yeah this amount also nothing special <laughs> i don't know why they're not making great emotes again uh cbr and you can see here that's the legendary gun it's as wall could be meta because of many buffs this season i showed you so I think a really nice skin, one of the best here uh, of all Lucky Dwarves, I think better than the M13. And now we are continue with the Dingo Draw, how I said Dingo is one of the new guns they will release. It's from Black Ops 4, I thought very powerful, less recall, high fire rate, also high uh, or big magazine capacity. Cap capacity so it could be very powerful this season here you can see the gun uh yeah if i think it's okay it's not the best but uh yeah how i said it's just my opinion if you need it it's your decision so but you can see here it's the the weapon inspection and now we are continuing with another draw i don't know what this draw stands for you can see it's not even all leaked but here's the operator skill and yeah you can see there are some there are some um, old leaks when people thought okay it could it could get an update or it could get at in the game so for example this gun here or this gun here it's a part of the mac 10 draw at the moment and now we get a special draw you can see here um i don't know why why there's no legendary maybe it's a little bit special because you can see as legendary reward it's a key maybe you can unlock with this key a chest or something like this uh, when you also when you read the description of the key you don't understand it you can there are just one sentence you can unlock any uh, reward but which reward I'm not sure so we have to wait if this lucky draw really comes and how much it would cost because I don't believe that the, the lucky draw will cost so much money when you just have one key and if it's really coming like you can see I cannot promise however these are all leaks nothing official released by uh, Activision so we are continuing now with the battle pass there you can see we get some new guns 
and here you can see it. I hope it will come because it's really, really nice to see uh, the operator skills and also the guns are really nice. I think this remote is a little bit too colorful to play it in Battle Royale or multiplayer because you can see very fast by the enemy. So there are the guns they were released, like uh, 24, Type 25, and yeah, that's maybe the first Battle Pass 4 you can buy this year. Um, maybe the key could also stand for the legendary ages. 04, 05 shotgun. Many leaks said they will release this season uh, the first legendary of the HS0. Maybe it will come, but yeah, here you can see the Winter War. And now we are continuing with new karmas and new level system. Uh, before the season 1 update, you can just unlock level 115, and now they increase the range. So you can unlock until level 200 and you get two new combos for the, for the system. And also we get the Golden Emerald combo, it's a new, it's new tournament combo. If you like it, it's your decision, here's the mode. For me personally, I don't, I don't think it's a new, uh, nice skin. Maybe just some uh, guns could be very nice when they have the golden emerald camera you can see here on the ZBR. Uh, it's not my favorite. That's that's what I'm telling. It's not my favorite, but we have to live with it. With it. Maybe it looks like good on some guns. So we got other multiplayer and battle royale chances. Uh, first, we get two new locations on isolated battle royale. So we get the T T3 refinery. So that's the first change in the game. And now you see it's powered by Atlas. Yeah, they have they've added many stuffs by Atlas, so it could be interesting what they will release next. And here you can see Ecology Lab. It's also uh, a new location here on Isolated. I, fir I first thought it could be read what they what we can see here in the leaks, but I don't believe that they will add read in the game. Maybe special grass or something like this. So you see here we got also moving scopes. Yeah, you can see when you scope into into your gun that your aim now that your scope is now shaking. It's moving. That's before and that's now. So it, it makes the game a little bit more realistic. Then we got new changes of size. For example, SPS. Of course, there are also AS and 10 and more guns which got changed um, sound but I just had here the first sound here we get new Belural ground loot you can see M16 um, the peacekeeper or, and AS wall and here you can see SMGs many guns added like the Fennec or the uh, PPSH 41 maybe with the new buffs it could be very powerful when you play with the PPSH then we get new changes with Sniper, the crew always stays there, but we are switching from Arc uh, from M21 to Arctic uh, to XPR, and we get a new Dingo LMG in Battle Royale, and also you can see here we got DY, we, and we got HS04, 05, and now with the three one-shot shotguns, you can see here the first, it could be too powerful to play Battle Royale, because everyone would try to find the HS04, 05 first, so that they don't need the, the um, airstrike. Or, then we get two new maps here on ranked, we got crosswords and hijacked in the free modes, and we got also new settings. First settings is here that you can make a weapon inspection while walking, that's the first, and we got also something that you can change your sight. Um, I'm not sure if they will add it, but we are getting a new capturing of domination. So you see we have three bars and you have to fill all three bars that you can uh, capture the hard point. We also get a new firing range. Um, here that's the old firing range. I also made uh, many weeks ago a video uh, of new versus old firing range. If you want it, I can give you the link in the comments so you can unlock, uh, you can watch this video too. Here the new firing range is maybe from Black Ops 4. Um, I think it's better, it's more darker, more realistic. I like the new um, firing range, I hope 
um, that it would not be too many legs in firing range when they're changing the map. So we got our new battle royale and new multiplayer rank rewards you can see here. Uh, they're okay, nothing special. Um, but yeah, that's nearly all of my video. I hope you like it. However, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And uh, give also uh, feedback when I have to improve something. So that's the end of my video. I know it's not all leaks, but the most leaks um, because I just don't want to make a too long video for you. So goodbye and see you later.